everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins! So, we have a lot of stuff to do today. We have two more pyramids to explore. We have a treasure to find somewhere near mushroom-shaped rocks. But obviously we also have a quest to finish and I think I'm actually going to continue with our quest and I will try to find Rashidi and eventually the ring that got stolen. So. Hopefully we can make some progress here. So I came over here to the bandit hideout who are apparently camped in this little um, ruin of some kind of temple. So I don't know, let's try to find a good place to I should not be seen in this area. Get a view over this place. Okay, we got a captain, we got a commander. And I guess we will have to call Senyu to scout out the region. Oh yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, soldiers, or well, bandits I guess. Which are basically the same in this game, right? <laughs> Doesn't really matter if it's a soldier or a bandit, they're all just generic enemies. Okay, um, I can see like one of the commanders. Okay, the other one is over here. We have some civilians over there and some people on horses who may or may not be coming inside here. <laughs> I mean, we've seen that before. I thought I had killed all the people inside a fort and then suddenly a group of new people arrived. Okay, but these seem to be going away again. Okay, um, yeah, this looks like a nice kill and destroy mission find all the enemies and eliminate them um, now it looks like we have some people here that might be here there are actually people on the roof so I should make sure that they are not going to cause any problems for me. And right, I have like flesh decay, so that should kill everyone who is in the vicinity. So maybe I needn't have bothered with the second bow, or second <coughs> arrow, because the poison may have killed that guy anyway. I don't know how, how quickly this is going to work. But, okay, um... I think we are safe up here. Now let's see, who are we going to take out next? Do we have some people who are a little bit isolated? Um, well, not, not really. Everyone... Well, this guy over here is kind of isolated. Let's see if I can get over there. Oh, uh... Well, we got another one. Well, the interesting question is, is the flesh decay going to work? Well, he's just walking away again. I'm not sure if he actually got poisoned enough. He looks poisoned. Okay, so I guess it's just going to take a while until he's actually going to die because it looks like he did get poisoned, but you know, it's going to take like half a minute maybe. Um, well, uh, this guy is dead inconveniently. So. Yes, we can quickly take him out. Oh, I can't actually hey. climb up here because there's a roof. Um, all right. Let's see if they're still going to be suspicious. You can just nah. continue fighting. Better stay awake, though. All right. They're fighting again. So quickly going up again if I can. Um, 
Okay, this works. Okay, um, let's see him. We got one of the commanders over here. So I can shoot you in the head. Yep, there we go. It's even a one-shot kill. And maybe he can poison a few more people who come too close. And, well, now we do not have any kind of people over here anymore. Let's see, there's like one single person all the way on the other side. Oh, I think someone just died. Probably because he got too close to the commander, huh? Alright, let's see. This would be... Headshot. There we go. All right, I think we're making some good progress here. And I think uh, I no. another one of these. Oh, not um, going anywhere. That didn't work. But I can just finish you off with a sword, I'm sure. There we go. And yes, if you wanna come and Devil. get I am a little bit of my sword as well, you can do so. The archers are really much of a challenge in, in close combat. I'm not sure why they even bother trying to uh, melee you. I should just stay away and take you with their arrows. They don't stand a single chance in close combat. Okay, um... I think it's time to deal with these guys. <laughs> One of them down and... Another one. Okay, that should be the commander. And I think I have done more or less all of the uh, soldiers now. There might be a few all the way over here. So for completeness sake, I guess I will deal with them as well. I think it's just the two that are still fighting over here. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> that's disgusting. Did he just say that's disgusting? His friend just got shot in front of his eyes and that's the first thing he can think about. Alright. Um, I think I can just use a normal arrow for this one. There we go. Okay, I think I have cleaned out this place su sufficiently and if I missed anyone I can just kill them with my sword whenever I meet them. Now let's make sure we pick up the treasures as well and then we can go and look for Rashidi. Okay, that's one treasure and the second one is apparently over here. And there might be more valuables, yes there are. Alright, here we go. Location complete. Also, um, are there like any arrows for me to pick up? I used quite a few, so I would like to replenish my supplies if necessary. Um, but so far, not seeing any arrow supplies around here. Okay, in that case, let's just go and look for Rashidi this however um, I guess he's somewhere inside here do we have any loot in here no oh, a 
What did I do oh. to deserve this? Found you. Is someone there? Hello? Yes, Get I'll, I'll be with be you in a second. In a okay, um, you seem to be fine. Oh, but I do have to carry you out of here. Of course I do. <laughs> but I mean, that's why I usually kill everyone in these camps. Especially if I'm supposed to free prisoners. It's a little easier if everyone is already dead. Um, well, let's see. Where, where's the way out of here? Someone just died? I guess someone may have found a dead body, a poison body. Alright, I think we are safe here. Now, let's talk about that ring. This ring you have found is certainly sought after. You know about the ring? Oba and Nepti said you might be in trouble. I think you would all be better off giving up this life, hmm? We could, if we had the ring. <laughs> Wait, you mean you don't have it? Oh no. Turo punched me straight in the face and took off to the Hemon tombs to trade it. Uh, who is Turo? A brother. Okay. Ah, of course. I will go make sure he is alright. Go back to your brothers. You'll be safer with them. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Well, that would I have been too easy. I wonder what Tail Tudor would tell me. Uh, okay, so... Um, he doesn't have the ring anymore, and I have to keep looking for it. Oh, it's all the way over here. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to travel to this fast travel spot. It's going to speed up my journey at least a little bit, I suppose. So speaking of which, I am pretty sure that there used to be a quest somewhere in this vicinity uh, when I came through here in the last episode. It was marked on my map, but now it's gone. Maybe I have to go closer again to see the quest again. Maybe it only shows up if you are nearby. But I'm pretty sure there used to be like a quest marker in that area. And now it's not. So... That's weird. But yeah, let's let's try to finish this quest first, one thing at a time. And then we will maybe check out that mysterious vanishing quest on the other side of this pyramid. <coughs> Alright, um, this isn't too far away, so... I don't think I need to call my horse for this one. And I will probably start seeing some <coughs> desert hallucination again. <laughs> this happens pretty quickly. Alright, let's see. Hunting. Oh, it's some kind of animal. Hunting. Uh, what was his name? Turo? Let's find out. Okay, let's have a look at this again. Yeah, I can see... They're not hyenas, no, they're like vultures, I think. Hmm. Yeah, they're vultures. This doesn't bode well, because vultures like to eat dead meat. <coughs> well, what the hell happened here? Ugh. Looks like the bandits caught up, but crossed some hyenas. Is Tora among the dead? <laughs> well, there's <coughs> only one way to find out. Um... Yeah, there's a bunch of dead hyenas, a bunch of dead bandits, presumably, but where's Turo? Oh, are you inside here? <coughs> Go under, please. Oh, well, um... Ah, uh, this must be Turo. <laughs> yes, I guess so, and he he's missing a hand. What's this? Ah. Uh. His hand was eaten. Oh no. 
The hyena must have swallowed the ring oh, no. too. Ah, this is absurd. It is. It is. But we've made it this far, so I guess we will continue to hunt for that ring. Even if we have to get it out of the stomach of a hyena. And the sad part about it, we're not even getting to keep the ring. We're just going to give it to these guys, right? That's the plan anyway. Okay, so where would that hyena be? Oh boy, oh boy, that, that is pretty far away. Okay, so I'm going to need my horse for this one. Um, well, let's call it. And I guess I will try to head over there. And that's going to take a few minutes, even with my horse. Oh. All right, apparently my objective is in proximity. So far, I'm not seeing a hyena anywhere. All right, there we go. Found it. So I guess I have to kill the hyena now to get the ring, oh. huh? All right, let's do it. There we go. And now we Whoa. just have to retrieve the ring from the hyena, huh? Um, oh, I gotta confirm it. I see. Oh, there at we last. Go. The ring Oba, Nebti, and Rashidi were looking for. Time to put an end to this. Right. And that means I'm going to return the ring to the scavengers. Um. And they're all the way over here. But again, I guess I'm going to uh, shorten this a little bit by using the rather inconvenient fast travel spot on top of the pyramid. But it's still a little bit faster than actually trying to go there by foot. Um, okay, you're on this side. So I guess I'm going to slide down over here. And there's like some mini quest again, but I feel I've done this one already, like in exactly the same spot. So maybe I'm just going to ignore it now. And yeah, somewhere around here was a quest, but I think it was actually somewhere in this area. So I will check this later. Let's just try to finish this quest first. I hope they will be happy to get yeah, their precious ring ready? back. <laughs> Alright, I got your ring. And it took I, quite some effort. I have bad news. You lost the ring? <laughs> you lost the ring? You lost the ring? No. Turo your is friend dead. is dead. Oh, tragic. <laughs> and the ring? Yes. Quite unfortunate. And what of the ring? Did you find it? I found it. Did you not hear me? <laughs> About Turo. I don't think they care. This mess is their fault. Give it to me. My Medjai, come on. These men are ungrateful. It belongs to <laughs> me. It is mine. I am the one who does all the work. Give it to me. Well, maybe you should have thought mine. about us earlier. That a ring can only belong to one of you, unless you are trying to, like, smelt it down and uh, uh, distribute it the material. So I have to pick one of them. I can only give it to one of these guys. I have no idea. I deserve it! <laughs> They're all shady uh, in the same way. I guess I'm just going to give it to this guy, because he asked me first. Hand it over. So first come, first serve, I suppose. So here you go. <laughs> I should be on my way now, brothers. Are you not sad? Your friends have died. In Giza, a friend dies every day. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, Bayek doesn't care who gets it. Yeah, you, you can you can fight over it. Also, that scene where the flying ring did look a little Where bit is like... Where the ring? 
a famous scene from Lord of the Rings, so I guess there's kind of a connection. Okay, there we go. Quest completed. Um, of course, they lost the ring again, so good luck finding it. I am not going to help you this time. Damn those two! I have to find a ring before they do! Keep looking, eh? <laughs> I'm sure it will pop up somewhere. Yes, I mean, ah, I can't. can't I be will far away. never give up! Well, good luck to you. I am keeping far away from the others. And when I find that ring, I will go even farther. Oh, you better hurry. <laughs> they might find it before you do. <laughs> no, I will not let that happen. It is mine! Uh, now Bayek is just trying to have some fun with these guys, huh? Shh! The ring is still missing, but I think it is somewhere close by. I think the others found it. <laughs> they have not! Have they? Have they? Gah, you are playing tricks on me! Yes. Yes, yes, he's, he's playing with you, uh, but... Me. After doing all the work for you, I think he deserves it. Okay, so <laughs> we finished this quest. <coughs> found a ring and they lost it again so um, we have some time left in this episode so I would suggest we're going to have a look at another pyramid um, specifically well I suppose we're just going for um, the next one which would be this one and I want to check out this area again and see if I can find that quest again uh, that I I'm sure I saw it in the previous episode it was somewhere around here but yeah, let's um, head over to the Kafre pyramid and see if we can uh, find some treasures in that one. What fool would set up camp out here? I should have a look. Oh, I think I found the quest again, so I wasn't mistaken. There's a quest over here and it seems to be a dead person. Hmm. Okay, so it's basically right in the middle of the small mastaba. Um, I'm going to remember that for the next episode, but I kind of want to, you know, save this for later because I don't know how long this quest is going to be. Instead, I will move on and check out the pyramid and maybe after that we will come back for this quest. But um, good to know that apparently some quests are only visible when you're like really close by because that suddenly vanished again. But yeah, um, I'm sure the dead person will still be dead um, when I come back later. All right, I am approaching the entrance to the Kafre Pyramid. And it's looking just as impressive as the Khufu Pyramid. And Senyu is all the way over there. But yeah, Senyu, um, I believe we did see some treasures. Yes, there's definitely treasures in this one too. Um, actually, quite a lot. Although, I'm not sure if... Yeah, they, they all must be inside this pyramid. Judging from the distance. Okay, so there's a lot of treasures to find in this one. So, let's... Try to get up to the opening. And there we go, Tomb of Kafre. And there's another ancient tablet. So, another skill point, I suppose. Alright. Let's see what we can find. Oh, um. going down very quickly. I mean, at this point, we are probably below the pyramid. Yeah, I do believe that this pyramid has, like, one chamber that is, like, not inside the pyramid, but in the rocks below it. And this looks like it would be an actual, real existing uh, chamber in the pyramid, you know, without any hieroglyphs, without any drawings. Um, let's see, we do have a bit of loot, though, that we can pick up. And some kind of tablet. 
O oh, good and glorious Ptah, take this offering of a sacred bull and do not rain your cause down upon us. We are simple men and our families were starving. That is the truth of it and we humbly ask forgiveness for our transgressions against you. Okay, so did some people like take stuff from the tomb and put this here as a apology and they only took the stuff because they were starving? Of course they sacrificed a bull. They could have eaten the bull. <laughs> then again it was a sacred bull so I guess eating that one was out of the question. And I suppose these are like the remains of <coughs> said bull. Okay. Well, at least they tried to appease the pharaoh, I suppose. But yeah, um, this seems to be a dead end. There isn't even like any kind of secret passage. So where's all the treasures at? Oh, I see. I came from down, came from up there and now I have to go down. All right, let's do it. Right. Got some stuff. I can see stuff behind the walls. Obscured one, do not be angry. We will find and punish them. Those who desecrated your bed chamber shall not enter the reed fields. Hmm. Well, someone apparently did not accept that apology. I'm judging from this little text. Oh, I see. We have another opening here. So, we might be able to find some interesting stuff behind it, huh? But was there any... Any more room on... No, this is just a dead end. Of course, there's also, like, something on this side, so... Hmm. How do I get there? But okay, let's uh, check out this opening first. Okay, well, um, we got some weapons here. That's interesting. And, well, some loot too. Also, it looks like there's something over here on the wall. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be part of this opening or something else. It's kind of confusing though. I don't think I can actually interact with it. Um, okay, we got another corridor here. Ooh, I found something. Looks like a boat. Oh, oh, um, well, <laughs> this, this is certainly also an embellishment. This is certainly not in the actual pyramid. Not, to, not that we know anyway. So there's like a boat. Reminder, some objects can be moved. Okay. Oh, um, I see. This is, this is some kind of puzzle. But how would this work? Oh, uh, oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I, I totally ruined your Usheptis. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pharaoh. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny, though, that you can actually, like, um, throw them over. Now, these are little figurines that are supposed to be, like, servants to serve the Pharaoh in the afterlife. And presumably, they were introduced um, to replace... Uh, human sacrifices that were probably part of you know rituals in like the very earliest stages of ancient Egypt so by the time they built these pyramids um, I don't think they did these uh, human sacrifices anymore and they were using these little figures instead to create um, servants uh, to follow the deceased into the afterlife so yeah um, I'm sorry for ruining that little arrangement here. We have even more over here. Um, but yeah, there is something I can interact with here. The lake of fire will swallow our enemies. Great conqueror, despoiler, lord of the blood seas, may you raise these arms against those who oppose you in the afterlife. 
Okay, this is just a text. So, um... Am I supposed to do something here? Because they said I'm supposed to move something. Oh, I can move this over here. I see. Alright, um, let's see. What can I do with that? Oh, oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I'm supposed to put it here. Then the boat won't move when I climb it and I might be able to use it. Uh, okay. can climb up here now. <laughs> Alright. I like this because it doesn't feel like a deliberate puzzle that was put here by the builders to enable grave robbers to get into like the inner parts of the pyramid. This just seems to be, you know, an accident that this works like this and the boat was just supposed to be here, you know, as, as grave goods and not as part of some intricate puzzle. Because why would these people build puzzles that enable you to enter the pyramid? Um, the whole point was to keep people out, so I like that this is not some <coughs> puzzle you have to do to get deeper into uh, the pyramid. And we have some nice statue over here. Hmm. This could actually be like a real statue of Catherine or Caffrey. There's a pretty um, famous one um, of him, and I'm pretty sure it looks kind of like this. So, points for realism. But uh, now let's check out this area over here. Oh, I think I found the chamber and the ancient tablet. Yep. Alright, um, I'm going to have a look at that later. But first, I want to pick up all the treasures. Look at these shields. So we got the pharaoh in the form of a sphinx standing on the bodies of his enemies, presumably. Okay, um, I think I found... Well, no, I have not found everything. Okay, now let's read the ancient tablet and get more skills. Ancient writing from the Old Kingdom. Okay, there we go. Another ability point. And um, is there like a different way out or do I have to go back the way I came? Nope, it looks like there's another way out. <laughs> And he's doing that fancy roll again. Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect this kind of descent. But, okay. I should watch where I'm going. Or stuff like this is going to happen. Alright, um, it looks like we found a way outside. So, where the hell am I now? Oh, I'm basically outside of the pyramid. All right. So, um, we still have time left in this episode. So maybe I'm going to check out this quest after all. I mean, I still have to... Uh, finished the small pyramid over here but since I'm in the area I guess I may as well pick up that quest and then I can still decide to do it later I suppose So, let's have a look at that uh, dead person. Presumably dead person anyway. A 
Okay, um, let's see. We gob. Oh, what the hell? How did you let that happen? Wake up. And apparently he's not dead. Well, that's Wake fun, up. I suppose. What luck you are right. Here, <laughs> stand up. Damn, I thought you were lying on it. Uh, what? Lying on what? What happened? My notes. I'm a geographer. Cortesius, nice to meet you. Looks like we were attacked. Not they kidding. emptied my pockets. Took my notes too. You might want to check your pouch. Okay. You too? I should have known better than to travel the desert on my own. I'm going to find those thieves. They ought to pray to all their gods that my notes are undamaged. Yeah, we're lucky enough to be alive. What do you remember? Remember? I was clubbed in the head. I only recall the sound of a horse galloping away. There might be tracks. Stay here. Tracks? You cannot be serious. Well, I don't know. I might be able to follow the tracks, and if not, I can just follow the quest marker. So, did they actually take any of my stuff? Uh, let's have a look. Um... Well, I still have a lot of money, so I don't think I lost any of that. And I don't think I lost any gear, which I have to sort through at some point because I picked up a lot of stuff. But okay, sure, let's um, try to find These tracks the uh, thieves. Although I'm not sure why they would steal his notes. I can understand the money, but the notes. And apparently it's near the Menkaure pyramid. Fresh and lead southward. If I am lucky, they have not yet disappeared beneath the sand. Yeah, I guess I can kind of see a few tracks, but I think it's easier to just follow the quest marker in the situation. So, yeah, let's head over there and... Damn it, we Die, maggot! Job. There you are! Oh, well, <laughs> interesting. Have you been I waiting here for me? Oh. 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 I wouldn't be surprised. Well, in that case, I have to kill you. So, are you the thieves that stole the nuts? But, I mean, if they are, why didn't they kill me when they had a chance? Why did they try to kill me now? This doesn't add up, and I'm pretty sure there's more people somewhere around here. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay. Is that all of you? Huh. Well. Yeah, somehow I doubt that these are the thieves that stole the notes. Because first of all, my quest marker is still over here. And secondly, they went right for the kill. So I'm sure they would have killed me when they had a chance. So... Maybe they were just random thieves, without any special importance. Well, let's see, um... Can I already see something? Yes, I might be able to. Alright. Targets somewhere in sight here, probably. This over here might be a horse. That left the trail, right? That must be the horse the thieves used to escape. Through right. here. Right. There's some kind of entrance over here? Oh, it's an investigation area. Okay. doing here? It's a little kid. What is a child doing out here? It is dangerous. I'm just finding things for Anta. What are you doing here? I'm a Magi, looking for some thieves who came this way. Did you see anyone? Oh, uh, no. No one. Are you here alone? No. Um, I mean, yes. Alone. <laughs> That's kind of suspicious. That boy is hiding something. Yeah. I think... I think he's not telling us the truth. You should go. There's nothing here. Mm-hmm. There's certainly something here, but... 
it seems to be on the other side of the wall. So let's see if I can find a way to get there. Um, I mean, there's like an entrance <coughs> somewhere around here. Let's see if that's going to be of any help. Oh, um, I guess I have to remove the stones, huh? Alright, let's do it. And this one may not have to remove all of them. But at least like one or two more. Right, this might be enough. Um, yep, there we go. Okay, it's another child. It is odd for a child to be hmm. playing here, no? Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you mean? I'm looking for some stolen items. Looks like you could help me. I don't know what you're talking about. My child, you are not at fault. I'm here to help. We hid it in Menkaure's pyramid. I'm sorry, we okay. had to do it for Anta. I'm sure Anta is a good friend, but Giza is no place for such foolishness. So the kids have been stealing our stuff? Well, Bayek, you just got dropped by a bunch of eight-year-olds. <laughs> but okay, apparently they're in Menkaure's pyramid which is convenient because I still have to go there. So I guess that's going to be our next target. Well, um, sure, we have maybe a few minutes left in this episode. So let's see if we can shed some light on this. All right. Oh. Go up here. Explore Menkaro's pyramid to recover the stolen items. Let's do it. And there's going to be an ancient tablet. Alright, well, let's see. Huh. There seems to be a lot more stuff in this one than in the previous ones and I mean it's still pretty well ordered and okay I have some options here let's go down first and apparently I found the burial chamber the riches of the ancients huh? forgive me Greta Moon I have need of this now you're suddenly asking uh, for forgiveness again. So what do we got here? Ra, creator, he who steers Manjet's layer of the serpent Abheb, wearer of whiskers, guardian of the sacred tree Ishet, who fought hard in Anu on the night when the foes of Nebeche were destroyed. We offer your son Menkaure so he may walk at your sight. Alright, so... Some text to commemorate the pharaoh, but um, yeah, there's, there's more stuff somewhere. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, cutscene. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is well, our pyramid! <laughs> at least hey, this you've time. You've got quite the swing. He didn't manage to knock you out. Just how many of you are there? Only my brother, sister and I. Don't harm them. I'm the one responsible. I want the note you stole from the Greek geographer you knocked out. And I want my money back. <laughs> We've given everything to the bandits from the hills west of the Hemon tombs. They have Anta too, and won't give her back unless we steal for them. Who is Anta? Our protector. We were going back to Memphis when they took her. If we don't do as they say, they will kill her. Bandits will profit from children. Hmm. Like the adits. Get your siblings and stay out of sight. You have my word. I will return Anta to you. 
All right, so they are forced to do all of this. <laughs> well, I guess I can help you, you really and... think you can get Anta out safely? Bring back your friend or protector or whatever. Um, there's something uh. on the other side of this. Yep. And Rota what do we got here? For the Divine One, King Menkaure, he of the golden eyes, beloved of his people, herald of the Saffron Sun, take these gifts that they may quieten your spirit. May you grant those who offer them forgiveness for letting your sleep be disturbed. You brought, your pros you brought prosperity to our people and peace to our land. Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, Mother of the Nile, honors you. Grant us your blessings. Well, I suppose it would explain why this pyramid and all the grave gods look so intact. Apparently um, Cleopatra has been restoring them and maybe added some new stuff. Okay. Interesting. Anyway, um, I still haven't found, like, the tablet, right? Come on, there's gotta be one somewhere in this place. Maybe some kind of hidden passage somewhere. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Gotta go up here. Alright. Um, hmm. Well, how do I open this? I don't know, maybe if I shoot bow at it. Yep, that works. And there we go. That's the big prize and the ancient tablet. But first again, let's pick up the treasures. And okay, there's like hidden exit over here. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. And that's yet another skill point. Gotta make use of these skill points in the next episode. This is a saffron showered chamber of Menkaure for when his car returns to speak with the mortal world he will see how greatly we loved him. Okay. What do we got here? Her most serene ethereal goddess Kama Renepti II, mother of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, she who sees Horus and Seth, great one of the Hetus scepter, one great of praise, priestess of Jehuti, priestess of Chasepev, the greatly beloved, greatly loved wife of the king, king's daughter of his body, revered mistress, honored by the great god. That is quite the title, is it not? Okay, um, I guess this might be a way out. Let's find out. It is. It is a way out. Okay, so, um, we still haven't finished this quest. Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay, okay. I guess I'm going to uh, check this out in the next episode and hopefully finish this one. And then we will finally go back to our main mission, which um, I actually don't remember where exactly that one was. Let's see. Okay, it's down here. And we still haven't visited the swings yet, so obviously I have to do this as well. But yeah, um, next episode we will take care of this side mission and then we will return to our main mission. So as always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.